customer success is proactive. It focuses on the long-term success of customers by building relationships with them and helping them realize the full potential of the Inspectorio platform. To achieve this, we need to have a deep understanding of the needs and objectives of our partners. It's critical for us to act as their voice internally to ensure their needs continue to be at the center of every decision we make regarding how our platform evolves and improves. This enables users to have the best experience possible. Hello and welcome to the Inspectorio August Flashback. My name is Daisy. And I'm Nick. This week, we're going to introduce three major updates that we've made to the Inspectorio platform amongst many updates we've made over the past 30 days. And this is part of our continuous progress in generating more value for you. So let's begin. In the last Inspectorio flashback video, we introduced the re-inspection label filter as a way for you to quickly filter the results of your bookings, assignments, or reports to focus on the ones that were re-inspections which resulted from previous failed inspections. And based on the feedback that we have received, we have upgraded the feature to make it even easier for you to narrow down to each additional layer of reinspections, starting from the first reinspection to second reinspection, third reinspection, and so on. Should we take a look? Sure. So as we've demonstrated in the past, to find a reinspection on the Inspectorial platform, all you need to do is go to the bookings, the assignments, or the reports modules. So if we take a look at the platform here, we'll hover over inspections, and then we'll just need to click on bookings, assignments, or reports, depending on what we're looking for. In this case, let's just look at bookings. So I've clicked on bookings, and now I'll use the advanced filter to go to label. I'll click on that, and from here, I have two different options available to me, first reinspection or second reinspection. More reinspection labels will appear as additional reinspections occur. So there's nothing you need to do to make this happen. So from here, you're just gonna wanna select the filter you're interested in using. In this case, let's use first reinspection. And after that, I'll collapse the filter, scroll down, and I can see all of the first reinspections that I have available on the bookings management page. And this makes it possible for you to narrow down to the exact reinspection and also to know that how many times we have reinspected a particular purchase order. Let's move on to the second feature we're excited about, and that is the Wave Booking with Reason feature. We're excited about this because up until today, whenever you waived a booking, there was no reason required at that time. Now today, whenever anyone waves a booking, you're gonna be able to input a reason. And that will provide vendors and factories with more information on why the bookings were waived. Shall we take a look? Yeah. So just like before, whenever you want to waive a booking, you'll go to the bookings management page. From here, you will find the new booking that you want to waive. When you found your booking, just scroll to the right hand side of the page, click on the three dot action menu, and then click waive. Now the major change here is that you're going to need to input a reason. So, you can click in the text field and type your reason. So, in this case, let's just say inspection not necessary. After that, just click the confirm button and you'll get a success message letting you know that the booking was successfully waived. What's great is anyone who is a stakeholder who created that booking can easily come onto the inspectorial platform, come to the bookings management page, they can look for that waived booking, and when they find it, they can open it, and after the details load, they're gonna be able to click on the activity button. So here, we'll click on activity, and you can see all of the activity that's happened with this booking, including the one that I just took a few moments ago. It has my name here, it shows that I waived the booking, and it even shows the reason I input when I took that action. And as you can tell, this is a great example of how the Inspectorial platform is centralizing all of this information so that it's easier for you to keep up to date. And the third feature that we're very excited about is, is called Cart and Check. And to learn more about Cart and Check, we're going to go to the mobile platform. Yeah, so let's switch over to our mobile platform. And from here, we are looking at the Cart and Check section. 
And the one really great thing that we should note here is this is completely configurable. So if you want this to be a part of your inspection workflow, that's entirely up to you. If you don't want it to be a part of your inspection workflow, no problem. It's uh, something that you get to control as part of your operations. So now when we're looking at the cart and check screen on the mobile platform, and we can see that we have a solid packing type listed here, and then there's also two assortments listed as well. If we focus on the solid packing type, we're gonna see the order quantity, the available quantity, the order cartons, and the available cartons for the style that's listed here. We're also gonna see that within this style, there are two items that we're gonna be pulling 15 cartons, and that we're also gonna be pulling 15 samples. Now we can see more detail by touching the style, and that will bring us to the next screen where we're going to be able to see the individual items contained within this style. And we're also going to have very specific instructions on how many cartons we should be pulling for each of the items. So for the first item listed, we can see we're going to pull eight cartons. And for the second item, we're going to pull seven. And then we can see the exact number of samples we're going to be pulling for each of those items as well. So for the first item, we'll be pulling eight samples, and for the second item, we'll be pulling seven samples. Now if we go back, we can focus on the assortment packing types. So if we touch the uh, first assortment ID here, we'll go into the next screen, and at the top, we're gonna be able to see the available quantity, the available cartons, how many cartons we're gonna be pulling in total, and then the total number of samples we'll be pulling as well. Now if we look down a little bit, we're going to see that this is broken down into steps. So for step one, we're going to pull one carton. And we can see that this step is grouped by size. So we're looking specifically at extra small items here. And this fits into our mission of making the inspection process easier, clearer, and also more accurate for you. Remember, these are just a few examples of the many improvements we've made to the Inspectorio platform over the course of the past month. Don't forget to join us for our next episode of the Inspectorio Flashback, where we'll be covering more examples of new features and enhancements that we're excited about. I'm Nick. And I'm Daisy. We'll love to hear from you, so please submit your feedback to support at inspectorio.com. See you the next episode, but until then, keep it wild, keep it real, bye-bye.